Okay, in exercises 25 through 32, we want to find an equation of the tangent line to the graph of this function f at the point given. And 26, the function is x squared plus 3x plus 4, and the point is negative 2 comma 2. And then we'll use our graphing calculator to, to graph them, and uh, we'll use the derivative function to confirm the results. So since we're looking for the equation of the tangent line, the first thing we need is the slope of that tangent line. The slope we call m is just the derivative of the function f when x is equal to negative 2, and we call that f prime of negative 2. That's the limit as delta x approaches 0 of f of x plus delta x minus f of x and over delta x. Now we plug in x plus delta x wherever we see x in the original function. And I'll just note here that since we're looking for this at a specific point, it's okay to plug in that x value, negative 2, for x here. And so we have f of negative 2 plus delta x minus f of negative 2 over delta x and the limit as delta x approaches 0. And so now we'll plug in. We get negative 2 plus delta x squared plus 3 times negative 2 plus delta x plus 4. So that's f of negative 2 plus delta x. Then we want to subtract f of negative 2. And we know from the point given that when x is negative 2, the function is 2. So we're going to subtract out 2 here. And that saves us a little trouble. And it's all divided by delta x. So we expand out negative 2 plus delta x quantity squared. And that gives 4 minus 4 delta x plus delta x squared. We distribute the 3 will give us negative 6 plus 3 delta x and then 4 minus 2 is 2 all over delta x again. If we did this correct everything that doesn't have a delta x factor will disappear. We have 4 minus 6 which is negative 2 plus 2 so all those zero out. And I can factor out the delta x in the numerator and cancel it with the denominator and that gives me the limit as delta x approaches 0 of delta x times the quantity negative 4 plus delta x plus 3 all over delta x. Delta x is cancel. And we end up with negative 4 plus 3, which is negative 1. The delta x goes to 0. And so our slope is simply negative 1. Now that we have a slope, we can begin to calculate or define the equation of the line using the point slope form of a linear equation. And we know that y1 is equal to 2 and x1 is equal to negative 2. And so that leaves us y minus 2 is equal to negative quantity x plus 2. If we multiply it out and write it in slope intercept form, I believe that just comes out to be y equals negative x. All right, so we're going to go ahead and graph these functions, bring up the graphing calculator. And I'm going to go ahead and put in our quadratic function, x squared plus 3x plus 4. And I'm not going to quite do it the way that they suggest. Well, they suggest to put in the line y equals negative x as well. Right, we can do that. And then we're going to make sure that we zoom standard, option 6, and then go and graph it. And you can see that y equals negative x definitely appears to be tangent to the curve when x is equal to negative 2. Now I'm going to go about and do it a slightly different way now by first turning off that one function. So if I go over there where the equal sign is, is highlighted, I'm going to hit enter and now when I go back to graph it'll only show the one function. Then I'm going to come in to second draw and option number five draws the tangent line when I have to type in the x value negative two and you can see that it gives me the equation y equals negative x plus 0 or y equals negative x. So that's one way and the slope of that tangent line is the derivative negative 1 which confirms our results. Now if you want to get rid of that uh, tangent line you just hit second draw and then clear draw and it goes away. At this time I want to do something a little different. I go into second calc you see option 6 says dy dx and I'm going to put in the x value negative 2 and it will tell me the derivative at negative 2 is negative 1. So that also confirms our results.